Hi everybody, Sunday, October 7th, 2018. So, you've got your standard double deep box. It's full, we've checked, we've verified the weight. The weight is really good. The top box weighs about 80 pounds, 90 pounds. The bottom box weighs about 30 pounds because it's still got a lot of brood in it. They've built up and I know that they are They've got it configured how they want it. It's they got plenty of stores for the winter. So, what do we do? In the winter time, we come in with a notched inner cover. The reason being is it's going to help them if they get uh, ice at their entrance. They've got another exit that they can do cleansing flights. It's also going to allow ventilation. Now, I do notch up if you do notch down and the bees get up here and they may just get trapped and lost so this way the bees in the hive obviously can get back where they need to go we've got the notch on there that if they get up here they can either find their way back down in the escape hole or they can find their way out this hole then a moisture board and a couple popsicle sticks now the popsicle sticks, we're just going to come in and lay that right here. We do have the notch, but we're going to add that popsicle stick and put this moisture board right there. Then our final inner cover. And on that inner cover, we're going to make sure, or outer cover, we're going to make sure we hold it back so we keep that vent open. There's going to be about a 3 eighths of an inch gap that the bees and air can flow in and out of that spot. So this hive here, if we were around in our region, you don't want to do this if you're still getting temperatures up into the 70s or 80s. This is more, you know, once I'm going to do it right around Halloween. That's when our high temperatures are very unlikely to get much above the, it's going to be, you know, 50 around there. And this will be the wintertime configuration until dandelion time. During the summer configuration, these are Man Lake top high feeders. You can feed water in them. If I needed to build them up, I would put sugar water in here to help them bring it down, give them a good, convenient, easy way to feed. We come in, there's vents in here that allow air to flow up, lots of air to flow up, then this here vented cover that has these holes with screens. No bees can get in and out. We put that on top. Do not use the notched cover with this because the bees will go in there and they will drown in there if you have anything in there. Just come in with that and that vent and your outer cover. And you may have a couple honey supers in between there and that is the summertime configuration. So it's just that easy. This gives them nice good airflow all the way around during the heat of the summer and in the wintertime configuration. Happy beekeeping everybody.